Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today I finally got in um, the smartphone I ordered. This is the King Kong Mini 2. It is from a company called Kubot and it is manufactured by Shenzhen Wafu Rei Technology Company. So, now as you may have guessed, this is imported. And now let's talk about what this is. I said it's a smartphone, but it's a particular type of smartphone and it would fit in well as the name kind of suggests mini so this is a small cell phone now I have done reviews on mini phones before you may recall I did a review on this one this is the Anika and I think the model is i9 but anyway the point is that this is a true mini phone it is a smartphone um, just like you would think but of course it is small and if you look at it I can basically completely hide it just by turning my hand over. Now, the, that's the good part of this type of phone. However, some people said that this did not have enough, um, you know, RAM under the hood to run whatever kind of, you know, game or something they're trying to play. And keep in mind, the focus on these is being small, but perhaps we could get a little more power in our smaller phone. So this box is entirely wrapped with shrink wrap, and it is a pretty good wrap, as there's only this and this up here as far as... Um, seams but it is tight to the box and there is no um, poofy wrinkles so that's good now have you seen the front let's look at the side Kubot right there and um, Kubot there as well now on the top there's nothing on the bottom I'll tell you what's on the bottom that is where the IMEI numbers are there are two of them I'm assuming this is a dual sim uh, phone we'll see but I'm guessing that and then there, not only are the numbers there, but then they give you three stickers with those numbers written on it. So, I don't know, you can stick them on the wherever. Oh, but it seems that you do get three labels like that. All right. Now, I'm going to go show you the back. This is where the specs are. And uh, I'll zoom in here. All right, so on the back here, they have these uh, highlighted features done in these little info icons. So we have the screen being a 4-inch QHD+. Plus. It runs Android 10. We have 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of ROM. The processor is a quad-core, an MT6761, so that would be MediaTek. And then we have the rear main camera is up to 13 megapixels with a 1A flash LED. All right. And the front camera is the 8 megapixel. It runs with Type-C uh, connection cable. And then you have the lithium or polymer battery. And they even apparently give you the model number of the battery. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, and then the capacity is, as you can see, 3,000 milliamps per hour. All right, dropping down here to the barcode. And we do have a, a UP, uh, UPC code there. And you can see there we have black and red. There are color choices for this phone, if I recall. Um, don't quote me on this, but of course there's the black and red. So the phone is basically black and there's like a little red highlight. We'll see, of course, when I open the phone. Then the other option was, I think, black and black. So the highlight is not so, doesn't stand out that much. And then there's, uh, I believe, is it yellow or something like that. But anyway, I think there are three different color choices. I thought black and red looked the best, hence I bought it. All right, there we go. And then um, here's some information down here just in case you're curious. I'll see if I can zoom in on that. All right, there you go. So, got some stuff mentioned about Google, and then there's the address, I guess, of where this comes from. So, okay. All right, so overall impressions of the packaging, I like it. Now, I know it's not the fanciest box ever, but it's a good box. Now, this is by what do I base that on? Okay, well, first of all, the box is really sturdy, this box is rigid. Second of all, they decided to wrap the whole thing in shrink wrap. So on top of that, let's talk about the heft of this. This package, um, as you see here, I weighed it, it's just under 300 grams. So you, when you lift it up, you there's something feels like something substantial is in there. Now let's talk about the back. Um, the, you might have noticed the info icons, I like them. It gives you the specs really easy to read, and they space them out so you can read them easily, even at a little distance back. But also notice everything here is written in English. Now, I'm not sure if that's because they knew where they were sending this to the States, in my case, or is this the way it always comes. But anyway, I think it's a good layout. All right, so before we get to the unboxing, I just thought I'd mention the seller I got this from did offer some add-ons if you wanted to pay a little extra. 
and I did pay a little extra for this. So this is the glass screen protector. You can see it's for the Mini 2 right there. And this is tempered glass, and you can see the little glass warning sticker. <laughs> anyway, um, I would recommend you getting this if you can from your seller because if you get it to the States, I think you're going to have a really hard time finding a pre-cut screen protector from something from Kubot, which probably no one here has heard of if you're not into this kind of stuff. All right, so I got it open. I actually had to use a knife to cut the shrink wrap. That's how good of a job they did. Now coming over here to the item, and this is just like when you slide off the lid. Now I got this covered because there's the IMEI number. It's right there. Of course, that you'll take that off before you use the phone. But I wanted to show you just how it is when you first open it up the box. Now you can see um, that we have the phone here, and I didn't tell you this up to this point in the video, but this is actually supposed to be a rugged phone as well. So you'll notice why it looks a little kind of armored. And you have this back cover here with the metal this metal cover with the screws down. So yes, this is supposed to be a rugged phone. It's also supposed to be four four uh, G as well. So okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this phone out, put it to the side for a second. We'll look at else what else comes with it. So this will be my first time picking it up. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, we'll get back to that. Okay, but it feels good so far. All right. So what else do you get? Um, we have instruction manual or like a warning card. See, it says, "Please do not use the machine." What? Please do not use the machine for high temperature or harsh environment. And it has an undetachable battery. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a rugged phone, but yeah, I guess within reason, right? I guess that's what this card's trying to tell me. Oh, and also a thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, let's look down here. It looks like we have accessories under there. Okay, we have a little, uh, what's this? I'll look. It's uh, Phillips. So, uh, a little screwdriver. That's for the back. Okay. And then, put that aside. All right. Okay, here's our actual... Oh, looks like, what is this? Warranty card. Okay, regulations. And then, okay. So, okay. Maybe that's important if you're in those countries, so you might hold on to that. All right, finally, the actual King quick start guide. And then, there seems to be something in there. Okay, desiccant. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea to keep that in there. Keep the phone from getting wet. All right. And uh, all right, we'll put that aside. Now let's look what's under here. It feels like, oh, maybe I should use this little tab. Oh, yeah. All right. Sweet. So here's our, remember it said Type C on the box, and it does look like Type C. All right. White. And um, yeah, okay. Feels like a relatively good cable there. And then here is the charger so I'll hold that up hopefully there you go so you can see the specs on this charger um, now uh, one thing uh, I'm in the States so this is not the appropriate plug for my part of the world but okay but if you was that European I'm not sure you guys in the comments let me know but yeah you would then plug of course the charging cable in the back here I guess I'll keep, oh, all right, uh, but anyway, so that's what comes with it, and uh, all right, so we'll get back to the main unit now, all right, so there it is, and they have this uh, screen protector, which is obviously meant to come off, but it gives you, again, those highlights that I'm pretty sure those are all the same ones we saw on the back of the box, but there you go, and, um, and else you get to now see the highlights, so this is what um, changes depending on what color you get. So instead of red, you'd get the other color if you choose to get that. Let's look at the sides here. So we do have, looks like, most likely volume there on the bigger button, and then that's probably the screen off or power. There are these um, shields here on the side, if you can see. I'll check if they're metal in a bit. On this side, I don't know, is that a speaker perhaps over there? Okay, but no buttons on that side. On the bottom, uh, see if the camera focuses. Yeah, th that's a door. I'm pretty sure that opens, and I will go ahead and check that. 
Let's see here. All right, well, I'll come back to that. Now let's look at the top. All right, so yeah, nothing on the top. All right, now let me, um, I'm going to go ahead and open that and fill the sides to see if they're metal. Okay, so I went ahead and looked at the sides. They appear to be aluminum, these plates here on the side. And then the down here um, where the USB door is, they give you only the very smallest area to get like a fingernail or something in there in order to pry open that flap. So you're not going to be opening that by accident, which again is a good thing. Keeps this thing from opening accidentally and having water go in your phone. So that's good. All right, now the other um, on the back, I've removed the IMEI sticker. So you get to see what it looks like now. Um, and here we are. So... I'll talk about surfaces here. By the way, this here is also seems to be aluminum. Okay. Anyway, um, around here, especially on the edges, you can tell this has like a rubberized type coating on it. And so, and this here, the door, behind this door here, you can see it. That door with the two screws. Again, that's what you need this to open. Anyway, this opens up to um, give you the access to the places where you'll put... Um, there's a spot for two nano sim, so it looks like the layout is a nano sim here, nano sim here, and then in the middle, your trans flash or micro SD card. Okay, and uh, what else? Um, so, and then I am assuming that might be a speaker down there. See those little uh, four squares that appear open? Possibly. Okay, now. Since we are talking about this being um, a small phone, or they call it the Mini, but I want to compare it to um, the Annika, which I was talked about earlier in the video, and I also done a review on this phone already. So we'll put, put them side by side here. So yes, this phone is uh, it's notably bigger, but that little extra in size might be worth it if you want some of the features that you see here. Also, this was not marketed, this guy, as a rugged phone. So that's a, another plus if you're looking for that and reason to get this phone if you're interested. All right, so I got the back cover off. You can see there it's more of a door. Anyway, so yes, I used the um, supplied screwdriver, got it off, and there you can see where you would put your SIM cards and uh, in the middle, of course, your micro SD card. All right, so I've gone ahead and removed that um, protector on the front, the one with the specs written on it. And underneath, there is an actual factory-installed screen protector. It appears to be the thin film kind, not tempered glass. As far as why I'm not using the tempered glass one that came with this, or I ordered with this, it's because, uh, well, it arrived broke. So, yeah, it was cracked. So we're going to have to go with the um, factory-installed one, and I'm glad they had one on there because it allows me to continue this review without waiting for the new tempered glass ones to get here. Okay, so here I thought I'd throw this here, just to give you an um, everyday object. This is a normal size post-it note pad, and you can kind of get an idea of how big the phone is in comparison. Okay, now let's go ahead and do um, the power on the device. Uh, note, all I've done is installed the SIM card, um, set a screen lock, and also got it on a network. But let's go ahead and power this up. All right, so I just gone ahead and opened, put in my screen lock um, code and also got rid of some of the messages that were coming in. All right, but this is what you're gonna see when you first open it. Again, I have not changed anything on here. Of course, I set the time and whatnot, but that's all. So we could go this way, got that, then this way, have that. Now let's go to, um, oh, right. And um, yeah, so for phones coming from this region of the world, it's important for most people here in the West to know that you have these um, uh, applications or programs or whatever um, services actually available. So there you are. They are there. Okay. Oh yeah, this is what I want to do. All right, so there you are. Got that down there. Okay, and um, let's see here. Go to the settings room. Battery information. Let's click that. OK. 
keep in mind I haven't, um, at least I manually have not installed anything on this phone. So you can see that's how much of the factory ROM we have available to us. Alright, so I just wanted to show you that Google worked, um, so I pulled up a browser. I haven't signed into my Google account or anything, so I'm just using Google as um, is. So there, I just typed in some random puffer fish, because why not? And there we are. So, yep. Welcome to 84 Days Later. Yes, that's right. So what I did is I went ahead and wanted to test the passive drain of the phone's battery. So what does that mean? It essentially means how long will the battery hold its charge when the device is doing nothing and is powered down. Okay? So the only way to test it is to, well, to do just that. So what I did is I went ahead and charged up to 100%. I put it in this uh, case here, um, which by the way is not included with the item. It's just one of the cases I had left from my many gadgets. It's a nice case, I must say, though. But anyway, so I went ahead, um, charged up the phone 100%, turned it off, um, and I mean turned it up, powered it down, not just black the screen, but actually powered it down, put it in this case, and threw it in my car's trunk. And uh, just to give you an idea, it hasn't had exactly, should I say, an easy time, and I speak of temperature because up here it has been cold. Um, keep in mind, 84 days encompasses a, a few months, right? Okay, you simple math, but a few of those months has, have been really cold. So uh, we're talking below freezing, easily below freezing. All right, it's getting warmer now, but yeah, anyway. So just how much power will it have left so to test it out I have the included um, cable that came with the phone and I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this power pack right here and we'll see so I'm going to go ahead and open it up alright so here we are we got the cable plugged into the power bank go ahead and plug this into the phone Now, okay, Let's see, it says it has a hundred percent if it's charge left. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure. Now I'm going to actually power on the device and we'll see. All right, so this is in the settings menu. So it's showing hundred percent battery left. I am very impressed. Just another quick size reference, there is on the left my daily, my LG V60 ThinQ 5G, and then of course on the right what this review is about, so that should give you some idea. By the way, the V60, in case you don't know, has a 6.8 inch screen. Alright, so I got back from using it a little bit, and I wanted to fill in a few more details. So first, I never told you how much the phone itself weighs. It weighs 126 grams. The other thing is I did go ahead and use Google Maps and it was able to pick up my location and show me what direction I was facing, so that works. And the other thing was about um, earbuds. Um, so I went ahead and connected a pair um, of these you know, relatively affordable earbuds, not 
partic not meant for any particular phone, just any phone that uses a USB Type-C, uh, plugged it in, and not only did they work, but I also got the little icon showing that a headset is attached. So, of course, that's a plus. So, um, all right. Now, let me get to a quick disclaimer, um, and that is to say it's regarding the use, my use of this phone. And as you could probably guess, um, I've pretty much only used this for um, the sake of making this review. So I have not uh, put this through any use and abuse. And yeah, so at this point, I can't tell you just how much abuse it can take. It's supposed to be a relatively rugged, ruggedized phone. But of course, I don't normally abuse my items, and even less so this one, since I had to keep it um, in good condition, even by my standards. And that kind of leads me to the next point, which is um, actually I have a family member that's requesting a new phone, and they kind of seem to take a liking to the way this one looks, so I will be giving this to them. What does that mean for the sake of this review, you're asking? Well, I won't be able to give you any more info in this video um, about this phone. However, if I get any update from that relative saying, oh, the phone is super awesome, or it isn't great, um, and any feedback, I'll go ahead and put that in the comments below. So, uh, let's take go to our, I guess, conclusion, at least for this review, as far as we can go with it. And um, so far, I am actually liking the phone. I really like the way it feels. I like this size. Um, now, you saw my daily is a V60, which is a big phone. Even by today's standards, it's still a relatively big phone, um, you know, getting close to that 7-inch screen. So, with that being said, it's actually really nice to have something around this size, just because I can put it in pretty much any pocket, and I've noticed I've also been more likely to pull this out to do, you know, even simple things like, you know, calculator or whatever, look something up real quick. And I noticed I seem to be um, more willing to go because it's just easier to pull this out of whatever. So uh, with that, um, at least at this point, I would recommend this. And again, if I notice anything um, that you should know about regarding this phone, I'll put it in the comments below. All right.